Purdue employees are currently fixing up the goalpost here at Ross Aid Stadium, trying to get it ready for the first home game of the season. And over the next few years, you can expect to see a lot of positive changes here at the stadium. This will include new seating, new ways for fans to interact on their phones, and even new facilities. I think it's going to be awesome. I think, like, you know, the, the, the benefit of having a massive sports scene at, at a school like this is in and of itself just, you know, like a great brand for the school to have. Christian Nagy is a huge sports fan, about to start his first year of grad school as a sports psychology major. Although he hasn't seen the stadium yet, he believes it's a place where he will spend a lot of his weekends. From what I've seen on TV, you know, the atmosphere always looks awesome, so I'm, I'm excited to see it in person myself. Nagy and others I talked to believe the potential inconvenience of construction will be worth it when the stadium is finished. Any kind of college you go to, you want to see construction. You don't want to see things being, you know, kind of stagnant. You always want to see things being improved or improved upon. This is the exact reason why Purdue Board of Trustees Chairman Michael Berghoff says the board approved the renovations. Now, the university is in the process of figuring out the details. Uh, we're now going to price it. Or we're going to design it first. And that will take probably a year. And then we're going to price it. And then we're going to decide what parts of the stadium we can do and which ones we do first as the funding becomes available, much of which will come from gifts from our, our alumni base. Berghoff says some more immediate projects are in the works as well. They include a new South End Zone video board, which will be larger and have a clearer picture than the current board. The new board should be in place by summer of 2020. Berghoff also gave an update on the Tyler Trent gate at Ross Aid, saying it will look slightly different from the renderings that were released in March. It will be the most aesthetically pleasing gate in the state, and we thought it would be an appropriate tribute for him. So we've added some features, which you'll see at the grand opening on September 7th. In West Lafayette, Nina Slosberg, Star City News.